Hello, hello. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. My name is Helmut, and I'm the founder of hostmarie.com. And today we will have a very super short and simple video, uh, simple video on how you can change the PHP version manually at Stack CP. So what happens? You uh, so when you want to change a PHP. So let us let me remove this thing. So let us. Uh, so at the uh, I have a demo. I have a demo account. It is created on the primary domain mariehost.com. I will zoom out a bit. So we can go and we can we can see the domains. So we have two domains, uh, mariahost, uh, mariahost.com. That is a primary domain. Uh, the document root is the basic one, the public HTML, and mariahost2.com. And the document root is so the, the place where the, all the files are, maria2. Let me explain it. So once we go here, so we are going to file manager. And then we would see that. Then we would see there are two things. Okay, so there are two folders. There are two folders: public HTML and Maria2. These are these ones. So the folder for the, all the files for the MariaHost2.com is Maria2. So this one and MariaHost.com is public HTML. It is always highly suggestible to keep public HTML only for the primary domain. Only for the primary domain. Another thing: never, never, ever keep uh, one website within a within a directory of another one. Golden rule: create folders and and create folders for any additional domains, uh, domains and subdomains on the top level, and you'll be safe. Okay, that is the short one. And now, and uh, now, you would like to change a PHP version. So we have, uh, as you can see on the footer. We have lots and lots of different PHP versions you can switch. Another great thing, every and each of your domains can run different PHP versions. So the first things first are, of course, how you would go. Here's a cheap PHP. You would, uh, here's a tool that helps you to change PHP version. So it says that the default version is PHP 7.0, and it was switched over to 7.4. So this tool allows you, let us say, we would go to 7.3. And this is how you would change. This is how it says uh, successfully updated the PHP version. And in this case, it has changed the PHP version, PHP version of your primary domain to 7.3. But what would you do with additional domains? With additional domains, you have to do this manually. So you would you would go to public HTML. Here you go. Public HTML and yes, and here is the HD access. And uh, HD access, we can see here's the PHP version 7.3. 7.3. Close. Let us let us if you would like to check it once again. So 7.3 and change PHP version. And if you have a physical WordPress installation, let us say, then this PH uh, then this HD access file will be actually so successful update in the PHP version and we can we can go back again we don't see anything here but as as soon as you will have a WordPress installed here the HD access file will be saved here okay and now we're going back and we are seeing that here we go this is the PHP version is 7.4 so oh and let us let us leave it uh, let us leave it like this so uh what it and all there is only one line that manages all this. this one. So this is the line. So when you see a hashtag in the code, it means that it is a comment. So it is a comment that it starts about PHP version. Over here, it finishes about PHP version. And the comment that will be, it is an inner comment for, for other person who will be checking your settings. So all you, all you have to do, you can check everything, copy, close. So what you would do? To Maria 2, you would go here, you would create a new so once again you can go back. Everything is everything is before you. You would need to create this file, htaccess.htaccess. So you would go here, create new file, dot, dot htaccess, create an open, create, paste the code, save and close. And now you have uh, now you have said that on Maria two, the uh, the the PHP version is or will be seven point four. But 
you can you can let us say let us say you would wish it to use R8. So and here is the here is the thing. Let me open uh, let me open a new tab. So if you if you are not sure of which PHP versions are here, so let us say PHP 7.4, which versions? So here is an interesting place where to look it up. And this is a little little hack. You would go to schedule it uh, to schedule it tasks. Schedule it tasks uh, or at cPanel, these are called cron jobs. You would open them and just wait till, till they load. And here you go. Have a look. <laughs> This is a very, very simple thing. If you are not sure, so you would go to schedule a tasks, and here are all your possible PHP versions. So 5.3 is written like this, 53. PHP 7, uh, version 7.1 is 7.1. Let us say you would want 7.1, and then you would go up here, 7.1, and for the comment for another person, you would do say. And that's it. That was there. That is a simple way. That is a simple way how you would update or change your PHP versions, both manually and, and automatically. And remember, all your websites, all your websites can have different, different PHP versions. So, and all you need is just this one line and save it in HD access. If your site is having errors, please make sure that there are no two lines. Uh, quite, quite often we can see that uh, our customers open open support tickets and they are asking, hey, I'm having issues, uh, error 500 and error 500 is quite often related to uh, HD access file conflicts. Uh, you have to see, maybe maybe you have uh, maybe you have two lines like these somewhere. Let us say, uh, we what we see quite often is this one line and then it will be, say, 7.4. Usually it's like this, 7.3. So in, in one file, in one file, you would see 7.3 and 7.4. Save, and this will definitely give you uh, give you an error. Uh, you are having an inner inner conflict, so you will have to go, just go, make sure that there are no conflicts. There are no conflicts. If you are still 